Welcome to this week overview. During this week, we're going to talk about systems working together. So firstly, we have the movement that interactions between the skeleton, muscular, and nervous system make movement possible. Skeletal muscles are attached to the bones of the skeleton and provides the force that allows them to move. Muscles contract using it to shorten and pull on the bones to which it is attached. Controlling body functions. The nervous system controls body functions using electrical signals from nerves and chemical signals from the endocrine system. Nervous system versus the endocrine system. So technically here we have the nervous system which uses electrical impulses that are the messengers in the nervous system and the endocrine system which are the hormones that are the chemical messengers in the endocrine system that target cells through the bloodstream. Then we have the transporting materials. Cells need oxygen delivered to them and carbon dioxide and waste to be removed. Blood vessels carry nutrients to cells and waste products away from cells via the circulatory system. Human circulatory system is like that and we're going to talk about that in details later on. Now we have the hormone control. The endocrine system uses chemical signals instead of nerves to control body functions. The endocrine system is made up of many glands, organs that produce and release chemicals either through tiny tube called ducts or directly into the bloodstream. For example, when something starts uh, you, your, adrenal, your adrenaline gland send signals that prepare you to fight or run away. Your heart starts pumping fast, your lungs let in more air and oxygen, and your ability to feel pain decreases. The pupils of your eyes even grow bigger and larger and allow in more light. The chemical produced by an endocrine gland is called a hormone. Hormones are carried through your body by the circulatory system. These chemicals affect many body processes. One hormone interacts with the excretory system and the circulatory system to control the amount of water in the bloodstream. Another hormone interacts with the digestive system and the circulatory system to control the amount of sugar in the bloodstream. Hormones also affect the reproductive system of both males and females. The endocrine system uses chemicals instead of nerves to control body functions. Then we move to the homeostasis. Homeostasis happen, what happens when you go outside in the cold? Does your body temperature fall to meet the outside temperature or does it not? And that's a very good thing. Your body only functions well around 37 Celsius degrees. It is vitally important for your body to maintain that temperature. Whether the weather is below freezing or roasting hot, your body's temperature must stay stable and remain close to 37 Celsius degrees. Each organism requires specific conditions to function. Maintaining those conditions is necessary for life to continue. Remember that the condition in which an organism's internal environment is kept stable in spite of changes in the outside environment is called homeostasis. So, keeping balance. So, for example, you have here, which is body balance. Ears sense the position of your head. Brain detects that you are off balance. Nervous system directs muscles to steady you, and muscles move to correct your balance. Another example, for example, I'm thirsty, you start to drink. So, now your thirst is satisfied. You stop drinking, and so on. So what is homeostasis? In conclusion, what is homeostasis, which is the process of the body to maintain steady levels of temperature and other vital conditions, even when the external environment changes? Why is homeostasis critical to a person's survival? Without it, the person would die. How does your body help you maintain homeostasis when you are cold? The nervous system sends out signals to your other systems to take action, to warm you up. Goosebumps chattering teeth, large muscle movement. 
Besides temperature, what other processes does homeostasis keep in balance? Since it's balanced through motor control, water 